this is a really great idea for road trip leftover sandwiches. Miles, I have two loaves of bread here. You're going to help me here? Absolutely. And we're going to make two different versions. So let's just cut this vertically from end to end carefully. This technique is called butterflying, by the way. Yep. It's like opening it like a book, right? Okay. Now the thing is, is that, look at all this. This is the most beautiful bread. Buy a couple extra loaves of bread when you're making your stuffing. So I'm just going to pull some out here, Mike, because we want to stuff these sandwiches full of lots of yummy stuff. We know we have lots of turkey left over. You know, ball, soccer game, kids, they're all hungry as can be. And you know what I like about this, actually, is once we make this giant sandwich, once it's pressed, I'm going to cut it in a lot of pieces, so you're right, you could practically feed a whole team. All right, Miles, I am going to do olive oil, leftover red cabbage, cheese, and turkey in my sandwich. How about you? I think I'm going to go all veg. You're kidding. No, I'm not. You're going rogue on me over there. Absol I thought you were going to have some turkey. Turkey turkey goes on after. That was the secret ingredient. Oh, OK, nope. so it's not fully veg. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. You know, I wanted to surprise you. Ah, okay. So I'm layering this turkey on here that has been sliced. You know, when you're done at the end of the night and everybody's gone home and you're cleaning up, it's sometimes nice to just get everything off the bird and put it in a container like this and then take that carcass and plan on making a soup out of it. And then it's easier to just be able to whip off these leftovers. Okay, so what are you putting on there? Oh, look at the way you've got It's like a little boat almost. I know, right? It's so beautiful. So what are you putting in yours? Everything. Everything. It's all nutrition. Okay. Next goes in my other little half. I am going to lay down this. Now, just a reminder, I made this was on my uh, Thanksgiving table this year. It's my friend Jen. Her mother's name is Betty. And Betty makes red cabbage with green apple and a little bit of vinegar and some currant jelly. And it is such a good dish. Oh, that currant jelly Doesn't is that sound so great? good. The cheese is going over. I'm almost done here, Miles. And then we're going to wrap these babies up so they can be pressed. Okay. What is then, that? Is that pickled? Yeah, it's sort of pickled because it's cooked with a little bit of vinegar and some onion. All we, right. We all love pickled. Press this things. down. And now I am going to get the plastic wrap. A lot of plastic wrap. Because I need to get it fully covered so that I can wrap it up here and get it pressed. I'm going to do it once and then do it again because this wrap isn't so big. You almost ready to wrap up too? Almost there. Okay. Here we go. And then this way I'm going to do it this time. All right. If you had enough energy, this would be an awesome thing to do at the end of Thanksgiving dinner. So this was all ready. But if you're like I am, by the time everything's done, you are exhausted, full. You're in like a tryptophan haze from all the turkey kicking in. And you just want to go to bed. All right. Great. So here we go. I've got this here on the sheet tray. And what you do, you're not quite done there yet, so let me just show everybody how, to, how this works, Miles. You put this on, and then bring over that cast iron pan over there with the um, cans. Just put it on here. There we go. So once Miles gets his done, we're going to stick it in here. And this is just going to press, press, press. All of the different flavors are going to combine together. It's going to be one big long sandwich that we're going to slice in small slices overnight, but at least two hours. That's how you make these leftover Thanksgiving turkey and side sandwiches. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Give me one of those sandwiches. Yeah. All that's... right. Great. Now, actually, sometimes what I do, and I think I'm just going to do it now, if I took it like this to, the, to a party or to a game or something, I just cut it right through the plastic. The plastic can come right off. And I'm just going to cut enough off here for us to be able to taste. Oh, yeah. This is the one that I made. How does that look? I think it looks beautiful. Oh, the color contrast is absolutely stunning. Isn't that great? Stunning, yeah. Can I take you away from the sauce for three seconds to taste it? I think I can multitask. <laughs> okay. Let mm. me see if it's as good as I thought it was going to be. What do you think? It's very, very, very good. Mm. 